My name is Tom Frost. Well, <clears throat> I started rowing about 50 years ago. I've been back in the 1980s. We started uh, a rowing club, and probably there were 10 of us at that first meeting, I think. And out of the 10, only two had, including myself, had ever rowed before. So they, the rest of them were novices, but they were very interested in learning about the sport. We had a, a meeting one evening where we sat down and tried to figure out, you know, what, what we might do as a beginning um, club and decided that if we wanted to get equipment, which is not cheap, uh, we needed a four-man rowing shell and um, we needed a, a way to raise money to buy such a thing. So we decided <clears throat> that we would hold a regatta, a rowing regatta. A regatta would be a head race, and a head race is uh, a single file race where each contestant is uh, just timed over a course of two and a half miles, three miles. The races are named after the body of water upon which they're rowed. So the body of water here in Saratoga Springs that was ideal for rowing is called Fish Creek. So the uh, the name of the regatta would be the head of the fish regatta, as, a, as similar to the head of the Charles, which is on the Charles River, or the head of the Schuylkill, which is on the Schuylkill River. So we named it the head of the fish, and in 1986 we had our first regatta, and it was successful enough. I think we had 65 boats and, um, in the regatta, and we raised some money and we were able to buy ourselves a four-man rowing shell. One of the things that was unique about the regatta were the trophies, because when we were deciding about the regatta and <clears throat> how we'd raise money, we figured we'd have to have trophies. Well, it's the head of the fish regatta, so we'd have to have fish head trophies. That's the only thing that made sense. That first year, we made fish head trophies, and um, they were very popular, and I think that was one of the things that um, made the regatta popular with college students, for instance. And, uh, from there, it went to a very large, very large function. Um, it was the, at one point, the largest single rowing regatta in the country. And we were doing 140 fish head plaques because we had so many entries. We had, you know, still, still have about 2,500 entries in the two days that the regatta is held. And uh, 150 different events, which each requires a fish head plaque. We got pretty good at making them. Um, we got them so they didn't smell if they'd been on the wall for a couple of years in somebody's house or in some college um, <laughs> trophy case, which had happened. Um, but early on, this is, this is actually one from the very first year, and this was cooked um, on an oven, in an oven, and uh, it's a big red snapper head, and it was cooked um, until it was solid on the inside, and, and um, um, we just put some, the shriveled up eyeball was painted with a little bit of nail polish. Uh, the mouth was held open while the thing was cooked, and then we just screwed it to a mahogany plaque, which has a head of the fish <coughs> uh, title on it and hangs on a wall. We got a little more sophisticated in finishing, finishing them off, so it's been cooked. First of all, we cook it twice. After the first cooking, we remove all of the um, meat material from the inside of the head, and so we really are ending up with the, a shell, basically, is what the head is by the time we're done with that. We cook it one more time to make sure it's solid and stiff, and <clears throat> then we can spray paint it on the outside with you know, we, we, but the underside of the fish is kind of an off-white, and then the top side would be roughly whatever the color of the original fish usually is. The, the quality of the trophies progressed, and we would decorate them with all kinds of things. And some of the ones that we decorated uh, are pretty humorous. They're smoking pipes, or they're, you know, they've got headdresses on or whatever. But, um, you know, it made making them quite a bit of fun. It had become extremely popular, and everybody liked to go home with a fish head trophy.